luxury boutiques and bustling street markets sitting side by side. Hong Kong is a shopper's paradise. Despite online sales in Hong Kong increasing 13% last year, they're still considerably less than in mainland China. Shopping is quite convenient in Hong Kong and consumers take uh, uh, shopping as a kind of entertainment. So they would rather go out the shopping mall and look around and touch the product as well. China is a very, very big market. I would say probably uh, one third of the uh, spending is on online. And also for the second and third tier cities, sometimes they cannot find the brands they want to save the, the hassle of the traffic, uh, uh, congestion, and also can find the product they want. While online sales are still emerging, blogging and social media are well established in Hong Kong. We have been using bloggers a lot, uh, it's very effective. Uh, but I think you also need to think about um, the mainland Chinese market. China cannot see Facebook, okay? So we have to use other platforms similar to Facebook, which is called Meibo, to promote our brands, our uh, products, so that the people can know your brand. So when they come to uh, shop in Hong Kong, they can come to a store. Also, they can buy online also. Asian pop culture is a key influencer to retail sales. Celebrity endorsements and in-store appearances are popular ways to sell products. Right now, the Korean wave is trending in Hong Kong and across Asia. Um, the culture of Korean is getting very popular, such as uh, TV shows, uh, music, celebrities, idols, and a lot of electronic products like phones. Like their Korean counterparts, Australian companies need a strong visual appeal to get their products noticed in the Hong Kong marketplace. Because they're very clear uh, what we call like a point of sales material, like um, a leaflet or a poster or sales tag, to tell the consumer what they're selling and what is their uh, specialties are. Apart from social media, what else can Australian sellers do to build their brand in Hong Kong? A free port trial. Because when you don't have too much budget on the advertisement, at least you have to have sachet or you know, samples or even travel size for the retailers to promote your brand and let people try out your product. I will give you like 500 pieces sachet to your readers for them to try your products and for them to write a review and we can put, put them on Facebook or other social media, which is a great way to promote your brand and let them uh, people to, to test the result. So to sum up, make sure your business is wired into Hong Kong's local social media trends. And finally, make sure you provide quality promotional material and samples to distributors to build your brand in Hong Kong.